Hello, in this video we will be covering adding sound effects because at the moment we've got a great game, it's working, we can play the game, we've got different menus and states, we can save the score which is fantastic, we display the score but there's no sound and sound is a very crucial part of our game. So as usual, open up your definition file, I'm going to add some definition which will be file paths to our audio files which I've already added to the resources on GitHub, so chances are you already have them. If you don't, feel free to go and download them. You got a hit sound effect, which will be triggered when the player hits the ground or one of the pipes. A point sound effect, when the player successfully navigates through a pair of pipes. And a wing sound effect, which is played when the player touches the screen and the bird flaps its wings and flies up. So, hash define. And this is going to be called hit underscore sound underscore file path. And I'm going to point this to resources audio audio for slash hit dot wave. And this, the next one is going to be called point. And then it's going to be wing, and this is going to be point dot wav, and then it's going to be wing dot wav. So now that we've got all the hash defines for our sound files, what we want to do is go to the game state .hpp. The game state is everywhere where all these sound effects will be triggered, and we need to. At the moment, we've just been dealing with graphics, but we need a new header from SFML, and this is going to be audio.hpp, like so. And now, what we need to do is create some audio objects. We need to create a SF sound buffer. So, this is what will actually la load the sound file. You can almost think of this as the texture for the sprite because you load in an image into a texture and then you apply to a sprite similar to this we load a audio file into a sound buffer for a sound effect and then we apply that sound buffer onto a sound object so this is going to be called hit sound buffer and i'm going to duplicate this so there's three instances in total this is going to be called i think you've guessed it wing and this is going to be point. So make sure, just as with textures, we've got a texture manager or the asset manager handles this. This is separate. You can implement it as an extra task if you want to. The sound loaded into the asset manager. But just like textures, make sure the sound buffer exists for the duration of what the sound needs to be played. So you can't delete it or you can't go out of scope. This is going to be, we're going to create some SF sounds. So this is what will actually be playing the sound. And we'll have a total of three. I think you've guessed it. We're going to have a hit sound, wing sound, and a point sound. So now we've added all of those sound files in there. You want to go to your CPP file. In here, if you go all the way top to the init method, what you want to do is load in the sound file. So if not underscore hit sound buffer dot load from file, and this is just going to be the sound file path. So if it's not loaded, then we would just see out for debug testing. Something like error loading hit sound effect std and line and now we're going to do the same for wing. This is going to be replaced with wing sound file path and the error message will now read wing sound effect hasn't been loaded correctly. This is going to be point. And point. So error loading point sound effect. And now we're gonna apply the sound buffers to the to their respective sound files. So 
underscore hit sound dot set buffer the same way that we do something like dot set texture for a sprite and we're going to do underscore hit sound buffer copy and paste this so there are three instances of it so we're going to do wing sound buffer point sound buffer and that's it for loading it we can actually start playing these audio files where we need to so if you scroll down to where you press the screen and then you make the bird fly here you're just going to do you're going to do underscore wing sound dot play it's as simple as that now if we scroll down to where we have collision after all of this we're going to do underscore hit sound dot play and if i copy that because there are two elements that the player can hit the pipes or the ground and then finally if the player successfully goes through a pair of pipes what we are going to do is just add essentially the same thing here but you won't be for the hit sound effect it will be for i think can you guess it it's going to be for the point sound effect so underscore point sound dot play and that is it so let's run it and hear those amazing sound effects so i'm going to turn the volume on my speakers pretty high up so you should be able to hear it when we play it play nope it doesn't seem to be playing okay it pl it's got the wrong sound effect definitely so let's have a look at what the situation is the scoring pipe should be point sound play there should be hit sound play hit sound play and there should be wing sound play ah we haven't set the buffer properly we just did it all for hit so that should be wing when i copied and pasted it i messed up so if i rerun this you probably already noticed the error and fixed it probably just me being stupid and if i press play you can hear the sound effect let's go through the pipes it sounded like flappy bird so let's die there we go so now we have sound effects so that's it it's that simple to add sound effects i recommend that you add some more feel free to add music as well check out the sfml-dev.org website for more information on how to add music or my educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk or feel free to reach out and i will help you if you want to check out the source code feel free there will be a link to github and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day